Hezbollah fired a barrage of rockets from Lebanon toward Kiryat Shmona and the surrounding areas. Most of the rockets were intercepted and no injuries were reported. The barrage follows an attack by an Israeli aircraft on a car in Syrian territory near the Lebanese border yesterday, which eliminated a Hezbollah commander and businessman, Mohammed Barra Katarji, close to the Assad regime. The businessman served as a money changer who helped finance Hezbollah and other organizations in the region. The cross-border attacks are ongoing. The Air Force struck a military storage facility in the Jebel region alongside a Hezbollah military structure in Kafar Kila in South Lebanon. The U.S. says that gaps between Israel and Hamas in hostage for ceasefire talks are bridgeable. Hamas has chosen not to leave the talks after the targeting of its military chief Mohammed Def, and mediated talks have been underway in Cairo and Doha. A sticking point appears to be Israel's reluctance to withdraw troops from the Philadelphia route on the Egyptian border. Commenting after meetings in Washington between Strategic Affairs Minister Ron Dermer, National Security Advisor Tzachia Negbi, and U.S. Secretary of State Blinken, State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said the agreed-upon framework can still be reached. Israel is still committed to reaching a ceasefire, Miller said, adding, obviously, they want to protect their interests. Three Israelis were lightly wounded today when terrorists opened fire on a vehicle in Samaria. The injured were an adult and two teens hurt by shattered glass. They were transferred to hospital for treatment. The gunmen fled the scene after the shooting with the IDF in pursuit. Over 50 bullets were reportedly fired. The shooting took place in the Ramim intersection in northern Samaria near Beit Lid. Meanwhile, three other Israeli civilians were wounded by IDF soldiers in a friendly fire incident while in a vehicle at a checkpoint in Beit El in Samaria. The vehicle aroused suspicion and the soldiers opened fire, wounding three Israeli passengers. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.